Hello YouTubers, believe it or not, this is my third time or fourth time trying to make a video today because my phone keeps ringing in the office. <laughs> it is now day 29 and i um, pretty excited that it's day 29. Not excited that I'm having full, swollen face syndrome. Can you see? I had the potato fish sharpening. So, mashed potatoes anyone? I'm serving. <laughs> Anyway, I hate when I get the swollen face. It's so freaking annoying, but it is what it is. What you gonna do? I know my I know what happened. It's because I went to McDonald's earlier today. I didn't have the the bread, but I ordered the um the the sausage and an egg and I know I shouldn't have gone to McDonald's because I normally don't do that crap uh, except for their breakfast, but I had like no time at all and I was so starving I was like forget it I don't want to wait to get to the office to cook something I need to eat right now and I went to stupid McDonald's to have this stupid sausage and the stupid freaking eggs and I should have known better because they're you know anyway I don't want to say anything bad because I don't want them to sue me but swollen face syndrome see because it wasn't like that this morning now it is Son of a monkey. So now I got to fight it and combat it again. Thank God I got all my pills and stuff to do it. But oh, oh. <sighs> anyway, I have a monologue slam that I'm going to do today, which is a competition. Basically, I'm very excited. I wrote the monologue. It's called The Forgotten. I'm going to say that I'm going to say the monologue at the end of the video. So if you want to hear it that'd be great if not then stop the video before i start the monologue and i will let you know when i'm gonna get started um i'm very very excited about this weight loss journey very excited that i lost the 12 pounds and i'm you know i really love watching your guys's videos like some of my girls who are uh, subscribers with me and, and, and i try my best to cheer them on and i watch their videos too um, I have to remember to always hit like on the video. I don't know why I don't do that half the time. And then I have to go back later on and be like, oh, stupid, you forgot to hit like. Uh, it's like, duh, hello, that's the whole point, hit like, so they know. Anyway, but it is what it is. Um, my sister's been finding some recipes for me with cauliflower, so we're going to make like cauliflower patties, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then Thursday, I have an improv show that I have to do here in Atlanta, Georgia. So that's awesome. Tomorrow, can't wait to see it. I gotta try to not be so raunchy. And really, I'm not really that bad, but I guess if I'm gonna insinuate sex, try to use another 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 word or whatever, because I guess there's a lot of snowflakes around there. And I do just insinuate, but I guess it's too much insinuation, so some people had a problem with it. Whatever, it's improv grow a vagina but anyways gotta follow the rules so gonna be doing that tomorrow that's pretty exciting i guess everything's exciting can you tell every single time i talk i say it's exciting it's always exciting i brushed my teeth today it's exciting i ate today it's exciting i had coffee it's exciting <laughs> Everything's always exciting. Like, really, if you ever see when I'm hosting a red carpet or um, doing an interview with somebody, I'm always like, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. It was such a joke in the in the industry because I would be like, that's awesome. And then when I was trying to stop myself, I was like, that's great. <laughs> oh, goodness. So it's exciting. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Anyway, I really love you guys out there that have been supporting. If you just found my video, please subscribe, hit like, share, and do whatever. Um, I have kind of a quirky personality, I guess. I don't know. People like it, but you might like it too. Anyways, hopefully if you saw my video yesterday, you're not out there eating people. <laughs> Unless you're, um, what is his channel? 90 something veteran. Oh, he's gonna kill me for not remembering. <laughs> but apparently he eats people sometimes. Wink, wink, you get it. <laughs> oh, anyway, you guys are great. Thanks so much for always making life fun for me. And um, I'll be back tomorrow. So here we go with the um, 
with the monologue, okay? It's called The Forgotten. I'm going to read it because I haven't memorized it quite yet. I'm going to mem memorize it on the road for the monologue slam, but I wrote it, so I should remember most of it. But it's called The Forgotten. I'm sorry to bring down the energy in the hall today, but I've come to plead to you my case about my people, the forgotten. The forgotten whose homes were stripped from them. The forgotten who were raped and slaughtered. The forgotten whose blood spilled on trails and cities were built over it. That is who I am. To, that is who I am here to remind you of. We have fought for centuries alongside fellow brethren who have received similar treatment, yet we remain forgotten. United we stand, they say, but people have forgotten to unite with us. In your fight for your own justice and your own ways, you have forgotten us. It has become a me instead of a we. We had children taken from us. We have to follow rules you don't have to follow. Land of the free, they say. We are never free. We are still chastised. We have and are being poisoned. Well, I can go on and on, but I've taken enough of your time. So I'm here to beg of you. As we stood alongside you, stand with us too. Stand with my people, because together we can move mountains. United we stand, divided we will continue to fall. My brothers and sisters, we are the forgotten. We are the Native Americans. And that's my monologue. Anyway, hope you guys like it. The director wanted me to do something deep, so I wanted to talk about the Native Americans because, you know, people forget about them a lot and I know that there's a lot of things going on with immigration as well um, and they're going through a lot as well but I just wanted to touch light because Native Americans have been here a long time and they have suffered for a long time they have to have reservations if they want to own any property and just all kinds of rules that we have to follow including having to in order to prove ourselves Native American we have to be 25% or more, um, whereas back in the time of slavery, if you had one drop of black blood, that made you black. But we have to follow different rules. So it's the most ridiculous thing. No race, no culture has to ever prove who they are, <laughs> except the Native Americans. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to shed some light on that because they, they are still suffering. They are still going through things. Um, their water's get poisoned their land still gets stolen from them and just all kinds of craziness so anyway that's what my monologue is about hopefully it's deep enough for the director and i hope you guys like it anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow bye